Good evening, everybody, and welcome to FlyFam from the pit at Pineview High School for Region 9 Boys Basketball. We're taking on the home team, Pineview Panthers, at 10-3, also at 2-0. Two, two. Our Stuart Awning pregame here at home against Snow Canyon on 29 points. Hard fought loss Tuesday night as they traveled north to Mount Pleasant and took on the number eight ranked team in the country. In no doubt, whoa. as we make room for the national anthem, and then we'll come back with the starting lineups for the Flyers. Dr. Burke, voice telling us to keep going. We need that encouragement and that assurance in the way we're visit our Region 9 Boys Basketball Friday evening. And let's go ahead and get ready now. for the Dixie Flyers. Please be patient with it as the internet connection here is. Lemke puts it up, no good. And rebound to Adam Moore. As Pineview. Ten seconds in the shot clock. Schroeder picked up by Myers. Gets the screen by Condi. He's going to drive to the basket on the right side. Pulls up with a mid-range jump shot. Beautiful shot. Nash Schroeder. Three from first-year head coach of Pineview, Patrick Amico. Picked up by Myers. Over to Schmidt. Now to Condi. Condi with the step back. And it's Shepard with his second three. And an 8-2 to two lead. Whitehour. Whitehour drives right into Condi, high off the glass, no good, rebound, grabbed by Lemke, puts it up, a whist. Two, cuts the lead in half. Reverse layup, here come the Panthers. Whitehour, Whitehour. This to Shepard, Shepard drives the right side. So baseline inbound, she's a new a three. That's good, quarter. Roberts lobs to Lemke, laying in and slams it down. Kyle Lemke. Roeder picked up by Force, who just checked in. Robinson pump fakes high off the glass and pump. Hands to Moore, back to Schreiber. Hands it to Roberts, but it was taken, and now the official is getting, don't think it was, there was anything antagonistic. I think it's just, because this place is rocking. And, and picked up. The shot goes up and jams between the rim and the backboard. That's going to be a jump ball. 
Coming up on three minutes to play. Moore. And Lemke. Je Ojenga gets it back though and then goes back up and a whistle and a foul on Lemke. So that's going to be Lemke's first. Young athletic player for this Pineview team. Forcey. Wide out. Now they get it underneath to Lemke. Lemke with the running push shot. No good. Rebound. Schmidt. No Jengba. Resets. To Shepard. Shepard. Reverse substitutions for the Flyers. Damon Myers returns. Checking in for Logan Whitehour. And Condi returns. Checking in for Camden Smith. So Moore inbounds it. Shepard. Shepard. Tries to go up over Lemke. Uh, around the perimeter, looking to get the ball to the big man. Brecken drives behind the plane of the board. 20 seconds on the shot clock as Roberts crosses over high, tries to get it up off the glass. Too hard, rebound right to Pineview. And Moore brings it across half court. Moore drives, clicks out, intercepted by Forsey to Roberts. Quickly down the floor to Robinson. Stop. Shepard picked up by Forsey. Has it taken away by Robinson. Two on one break. Back to Forsey. Comes to a jump stop. And Pineview. Oh, clears to Myers. Myers for three. No good. Rebound too hard. And Shepard comes away with it. The Flyers struggling mightily on the offensive side to start this opening quarter. So Adam Moore will pass it in on the sideline. 24 seconds left on the shot clock. Just over a minute to play. He gets it into Shepard. Right back to Moore. Knocks over Forsey, but he loses the ball. Forsey comes down with it. Uh, defensive play there by the Flyers. Roberts. Bounce pass to Lemke. Lemke goes on the reverse with the left hand. Beautiful shot. And the Flyers have turned the lead to five. Under a minute to play here. Again, we apologize for the technical difficulties we're having with our stream quality. I'll try to adjust that as we go to... Shepard drives on Forsey. Reverse pivot. May have traveled, but a whistle and a foul. That's going to go against Forsey. So that'll be his first third team foul on the Flyers. So that'll eliminate the shot clock, and Schroeder will check back in for Ojengba. Schroeder with two quick personal fouls. But an opportunity here for Coach Amico to execute something and get a two-point bucket before the end of the first quarter. Long inbounds to Moore. Over to Schmidt. As the Panthers will allow the clock to wind down. 20 seconds. Schmidt, trying to drive on Forsey. So Schroeder, picked up by Roberts. Looking for a screen from Condi. He gets it. The Flyers rotate. Nash, double team, clears over to Moore. Moore hoists it up. High off the back rim, no good. Rebound to Moore and blocked by Lemke. For correction, rebound to Shepard, who put it up, and it was blocked by Lemke. So that will take us to the end of the first quarter. The Pineview Panthers coming out with a stellar start. They lead 15 to 10. We'll be back after this in a moment.
So back here at the pit, seven minutes left in the second quarter. I apologize for the stream quality. We're trying to work on the internet strength here at Pineview High School. Oh, please bear with us as Forsey drives. Clears to Whitehour. Eight seconds on the shot clock to Robinson. Robinson's going to have to shoot. Hands to Lemke. Lemke gives a screen to Forsey. Forsey bounce pass to Lemke. Lemke goes up, blocked, and that's going to expire the shot clock. And there was a delay on the whistle, so I'm not sure. The officials look confused. And they're going to call a travel violation, I believe, on Pineview. I thought the shot clock had expired, but we go the other way. Robinson puts it up. No good. Condi with the rebound. So the Flyers had a second chance. Couldn't come away with it as they trail 15 to 10. Shepard, the 14-foot jump shot. No good. Whitehour with the rebound. Roberts up the floor. He's going to drive into the paint. Comes to his reverse pivot. That's good. Jordan Roberts may have tweaked his knee or ankles. He comes up hobbling. And Adam Moore will walk the ball across midcourt. As Pineview moving the ball around the perimeter from Schmidt to Moore to Ojengba. Schmidt with the deep three. That's good. Caleb Schmidt from deep. Roberts gets the screen. Goes high. Back to Lemke. Comes flying in for the dunk. Count it. He's fouled. Lemke from Roberts. So that. Foul called on Jelani Ojengba, who checks out. That's his first foul, first team foul. As Nash Schroeder checks back in for Pineview. And Lemke will go to the line, shooting one. Opportunity for the three-point play. We appreciate you staying with us on our live stream as Lemke misses the free throw. Condi with the rebound. As we're hopefully have solved some of our streaming quality issues. Schroeder picked up by Roberts and drives on Roberts. No contact, no foul, and misses the shot quickly. Down the court to Whitehour. Whitehour goes up high at the apex, catches it, comes down and puts it up and in. Roberts' is second deep pass and completion on the night. A two-point game here in the pit. Moore over to Shepard. Launches a three, in and out, no good. Rebound, tipped around, and Schroeder comes down with it. Over to Moore, now to Schmidt. Back to Schroeder. Knocked away, and taken away. Whitehour's got it. Lobs to Forsey. Forsey back to Whitehour. Blocked at the rim by Shepard. What a block. Robinson lobs underneath the wide open Lemke for the two-hand flush. Great hustle by the Panthers. And the Flyers just stayed with it, and we've got a tie ball game. Halfway through the second quarter in a rocking pit at Pineview High. Shepard drives. No good as he's challenged by Lemke. Roberts on the fast break. Momentarily lose it. Gets it back. Drives baseline over the top to Lemke. Lemke knocked away, taken away by Schroeder. And then Forcey fouls Schroeder. So that'll be Forsey's second personal and second team foul as a couple of substitutions for Pineview as Condi and Schmidt check out. Smith and Ojengba checking in. So Schroeder walks it across over to Shepard. Picked up by Whitehour. And more. Underneath to Smith. Smith gets into the paint. Clears out to Moore. Back to Shepard. Shepard for three. That's good. Griffin Shepard. With his third three of the night. A 
Robinson lobs underneath. Lemke puts it on the glass, up and in. As Smith could not get Lemke out of the key, and Lemke, with the obvious height advantage, able to put that baby to bed. One-point game now. And for all intents and purposes, this is going to be a grinded-out slugfest as both teams trying to slow the other as Schroeder gets in the air, hands to Moore in the corner, no good, but Smith with the rebound, goes up, blocked out of bounds by Lemke. Another substitution as Schmidt, Caleb Schmidt returns for Adam Moore. And Schroeder will inbound on the baseline side as they scissor off. So Jengba, Jengba in the corner. Clears to Schmidt, now to Schroeder. Schroeder picked up by Whitehour. Now to Schmidt, another deep three. Short, a rebound to Myers, who just checked in for the Flyers. Over the top, Robinson, wide open. No good, but Myers with the offensive rebound. And he clears to Roberts, back to Robinson. This time he drives, puts it up with the right hand on the left side. And the Flyers with their first lead of the night. Schroeder hands to Shepard. Shepard having an outstanding first quarter. Oh, Jengba, now double teamed by the Flyers. Gets back to Shepard, over to Schroeder. Schroeder pump fakes, picked up by Roberts. A push and a foul, and that's gonna go against Jordan Roberts. No good on the basket as the foul took place before. So I believe that's gonna be Roberts' first personal, third team foul as we approach the two minute mark. And Trevor Condi checking in for Cam Smith. Condi, the 6'9 senior for Pineview. And another late substitution as Adam Moore checks in this time for Schroeder. Moore gets it into Shepard. Shepard tries to get it over to Condi. Condi drops it but gets it. Puts it up. No good. Lemke with the rebound. Roberts speeding up the court. Finds Robinson. Robinson to the baseline. A whistle and a foul. And that will negate the dunk by Lemke. And that's going to go against Schmidt. His first Second team foul against Pineview. So Roberts will inbound to Robinson. It's a screen from Lemke. Robinson drives all the way to the paint. Scoop and score. Brecken Robinson. Moore to Ojengba. A dribble handoff to Shepard. Shepard, and another whistle and a foul. And this, again, is going to go against Jordan Roberts, his second. And fourth team foul against the Flyers. And Pineview able to get the ball into Condi. Now over to Shepard, a corner for Schmidt. Short on the three, rebound right to Shepard, loses it. Myers able to take it away from him. Here comes Roberts and the Flyers. He drives in the paint, over the shoulder flip to Lemke. Lemke puts it up with a running one-hander. What a shot from Kyle Lemke. And the Flyers now with a five-point lead, coming up on a minute to play here in the first half. Schmidt to Moore, now to Ojengba as Pineview, moving the ball around the perimeter. To Shepard, picked up by Lemke. Shepard, fade away, off one foot. Beautiful shot, Griffin Shepard. Well into double figures here in this first half. Robinson, tries his own fade away. It might have been blocked by Ojengba. And Pineview comes away with the rebound. About a three second difference clock. Shepard clears to Moore. Joe Jengba to Condi. Across court to Schmidt. Shepard picked up again by Lemke. Now to Ojengba. Steps in. Blocked by Lemke. Picked up by Roberts. Five seconds. Three seconds. Over to Robinson. Robinson hesitates. Shoots the three. No good. And that will be the end 
of this first half of play from the pit with the Flyers narrowly leading 26 to 23. We'll take a couple minute break and be back with our Jimmy John's Freaky Fast halftime show here on FlyFam TV and the Fan Sports Network. Don't go anywhere. It's not something we think about much, except when it's in bad shape. At Holbrook Asphalt, we help cities, HOAs, and businesses avoid replacing painfully expensive roads and parking lots. To avoid the cost of replacing asphalt, you must effectively preserve it while it's still in good condition. University research has shown Holbrook Asphalt's HA5 slows asphalt aging by 67%. We make your pavement assets last longer, cost less to own, all while achieving higher property values. Visit HolbrookAsphalt.com to discover How many more. letters? 18. Letters. Just think about what am I doing right now? Smile. <laughs> Smile? Uh huh. This is so easy. Nobody likes to be stopped by the police, but if I'd seen her texting while driving and given her a ticket, it just might have saved her life. Styles Iron Doors. We know your front door sees a lot of memories. From the first day of school to a holiday celebration, your front door is there for everyone. Enhance your home with a door forged with style built to last. Crafted with precision and passion, our doors are more than just entrances. They're works of art. Our doors make a statement and create a space worthy of your most precious moments. Find the perfect style for your home at stylesirondoors.com. We are Utah's financial outfitter, and we're here when it's time for your business to climb higher. Guest Rally Bank, mountains away. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. We are Utah's. And welcome back to the pit. Ryan Forsey, live here at Pineview High School in the Region 9 Game of the Week on a chilly Friday night as the visiting Dixie Flyers holding on to a three-point lead against the home team Pineview Panthers in a marquee matchup of region, not only Region 9, but the entire state and 4A. Again, welcome. Thanks so much for joining us for our Jimmy John's Freaky Fast Halftime Show. We thank you so much for joining us and your patience throughout the first quarter as we had some internet technical, technical difficulties. Seems we've been able to get those rectified, so appreciate that. And with that, we weren't able to really talk about a lot leading into this game, so let's take a minute and do that for the Flyers. If they're going to come away with a win, they're going to have to do these following things as we look at the Stuart Awning keys to the game. First, they're going to have to limit number 13, Nash Schroeder, the leading scorer in the state. And so far... Having some limited success, and really the culprit was Nash himself as he picked up two quick fouls in that first quarter and had to kind of play in spurts for Coach Amico. Really couldn't get anything going. He was still nonetheless affecting the game with several offensive shots and moves. But really who picked up the slack were the, were the other teammates of Schroeder and Griffin Shepard and Caleb Schmidt. Second for the Flyers, perimeter defense. And again, that falls into what Shepard and Schmidt were able to do as the Flyers weren't quite able to recover. As Shepard had three threes in that first half. Schmidt had his own long three, but also was able to hit a mid-range shot. But one thing the Flyers were able to get going was the post play, as they've been able to pound that, getting the ball to big man Kyle Lemke. And he's been able to come away with a couple dunks, a couple easy shots. But still, give some credit to the Pineview Panthers as they jumped out to an eight-point lead in that first quarter, and it took the while for the Flyers to kind of get going. Looking across Region 9, here's our schedule tonight. Desert Hills at Crimson Cliffs, Cedar at Snow Canyon, and Hurricane with a bye. So right now, last scoring update. Coming at Snow Canyon, and Snow Canyon leading Cedar 17-6. Have yet to see a score update from Crimson. Let's see if we can check on that here in a moment. Let's take a look now, though, at the RPI standings here in 4A, as there has been some shifting. The top two, though, remaining the same from last week, as Leighton Christensen at 14-2, number one. Green Canyon still undefeated. 
at number two. Dixie remaining at three. But there has been a little bit of a flip as Pineview was number five, and they've moved up to number four. Bear River was four. They've completely dropped out of the top five, and now Logan has moved in. So with 4A expanding, it still looks like it's a northern Utah and southern Utah division. So we'll keep our eyes on that as we go throughout the season. So coming up on halfway through halftime here at the pit, we're going to go ahead and take another couple of minute break and be back here to preview the second half. And no doubt what will be an absolute battle between these teams, the Pineview Panthers and Dixie Flyers. Don't go anywhere, folks. Back after this. Hardware is conveniently located in St. George on the corner of Bluff Street and St. George Boulevard with 30,000 square feet of lawn and garden, paint, tools, fabrics, sporting goods, and the most complete nut and bolt section in town. Her general store, the Big A store on Bluff and on Main in Cedar City. And welcome back to Pineview High School at the Pit. We've got a couple minutes left here before the end of halftime in our Jimmy John's Freaky Fast Halftime Show. So again, looking ahead to this second half, it's really going to be, uh, I really expect, an absolute slugfest. And it might come down. We saw in that first half foul trouble was a major impact, especially for Pineview and Nash Schroeder. Again, the state's leading scorer. Just over 25 points a game. But again, give credit to Pineview. They were able to jump out to a quick lead, and it took a while for Flyers to adjust to it and able to close out in a strong second quarter. And they lead by three. But no doubt, it, this game, I anticipate, will come down to the wire. Looking ahead on our broadcast schedule here on flyfam.tv, Wednesday of next week, and Friday, we have a duo of home games over at the hangar at Dixie High. First, the Flyers host Snow Canyon. And then Friday, the Desert Hills Thunder. And then they'll travel to, travel to Cedar High the following Wednesday. That game will be broadcast courtesy of Cedar High School. We'll get a link for that and get that out to everybody as best we can. And then the Flyers return home as the second leg of the region season begins as they host the Crimson Cliff Mustangs. That'll be Friday the 26th. And that takes us halfway already through region play. 
Scoring updates, updated score from Crimson Cliffs and Desert Hills. 21-14 is the score. That's after the first quarter, so I'm assuming halftime is probably coming up fairly quick, so we'll try to get a little more updated scores for that. We'll keep an eye on that. But for right now, Coach Roberts has to be concerned as Pineview really is matched blow for blow in that first half and a quite amount of time without their leading scorer in Nash Schroeder. But no doubt the Flyers will continue to operate their offense through Lemke in the post. And the real question is, can the Flyers limit the perimeter scoring from this potent Pineview team? That will be the story, so no doubt. Should be an exciting second half of play. Oh, the clock winds down. Possession in the beginning of the second half will be in favor of the Panthers. So Flyers will start on defense. Have an opportunity to set that tone if you're Coach Roberts on the defensive side. So we're underway as Schroeder brings the ball across midcourt. Up top to Shepard. The Flyers switching on defense. Tries to get by Lemke, couldn't quite do it. He clears to Shepard. Both teams starting with the same starting lineups for the Flyers. Myers, Roberts, Lemke, Whitehour, and Robinson for the Panthers. Moore, Schroeder, Schmidt, Shepard, and Condi. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Schroeder. Whips it underneath to Condi. Condi pump fakes. Blocked by Lemke and comes down with it. Roberts quickly down to Robinson, and it was just outside of his reach and a turnover. As Schmidt brings it across midcourt, hands to Shepard. Schroeder momentarily loses the ball, able to get it back. Myers picks it away. Now he's held by Schroeder, and that's going to be a foul on Nash Schroeder, his third. As Myers able to knock the ball away, and it was a fairly obvious call as Schroeder clotheslined him to keep him from getting the ball. Not a bad foul to stop the break, but yes, a bad foul if you're Schroeder because that effectively removes him potentially for the entire third quarter. We'll see how Coach Amico handles that situation as Whitehour drives, hangs, puts it up off the glass, no good. Robinson, or excuse me, Myers scores in for the offensive putback, and Damon Myers on the board with his first two points of the night. Schmidt clears to Moore. Ojangba, who's just checked in for Schroeder. Shepard steps into a deep three. No good. Rebound. Myers quickly to Roberts. Here come the Flyers. Over to Robinson. Underneath to Limke. Condi picks him up. Now back out to Robinson. That's good. Brecken Robinson from Kyle Lemke. And a timeout call by Pineview. That's going to be a 30-second timeout as Coach Amico wants to talk some strategy with his team. We'll go ahead and take a quick break back after this on flyfam.tv. It's not something we think about much, except when it's in bad shape. At Holbrook Asphalt, we help cities, HOAs, and businesses avoid replacing painfully expensive roads and parking lots. To avoid the cost of replacing asphalt, you must effectively preserve it while it's still in good condition. University research has shown Holbrook Asphalt's HA5 slows asphalt aging by 67%. We make your pavement assets last longer, cost less to own, all while achieving higher property values. Visit HolbrookAsphalt.com to discover more. Welcome back to the pit. Coming out of a timeout here, Ryan Forsey calling the action. Thanks so much for joining us in a near standing room only as this Pineview team has their home crowd in a frenzy with a fantastic start to the season. 
with first year head coach Pat Amico. Shepard up and under, jackknifes it up and in. What a play by Griffin Shepard as he is stepping up as Nash Schroeder has been plagued with foul trouble all night. And Shepard has been doing an outstanding job, almost single-handedly keeping Pineview in this contest. Lemke skips over to Roberts. Back to Lemke. Lemke, reverse, left hand, blocked by Condi, brought down by Condi. Good play there by the senior. Condi looking to get the ball to Shepard. Instead, hands to Ojangba, now to Schmidt. Back over to Moore. Now to Condi. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Shepard gets it to Ojangba. Ojangba cut off by Robinson. Raises high up. No good. Rebound tapped around. Brought down by Ojangba. He's fouled. He'll shoot two. Jelani Ojangba working hard. He'll go to the line. Shooting two. That's going to go against... Damon Myers, his first, first team foul for the Flyers as Ojengba buries the first. And gets the second to fall. The shooter's touch. Roberts. The four-point lead for the Flyers. Roberts drives. Nifty pass to Lemke, who charges over Ojengba. That's going to be Lemke's second foul. As this... Pineview Panther team refusing to go away, clawing their way back into this. Moore with the pump fake. Clears to Shepard. Shepard drives. Step back. Blocked by Lemke. Lemke comes down with it. Quickly to Roberts. Potential two-on-one break to Robinson. Up. Hammered from behind by Ojengba. He'll shoot two. As Ojengba tried to go up high and block it, but took Robinson out. And so Barek and Robinson shooting two. So Robinson makes the first. And the second, that's good as well. So Moore trots it across midcourt over to Ojengba. As Pineview looking to attack this Flyer defense, trying to get underneath. Lob to Schmidt, easily taken away by Whitehour. Here come the Flyers. Roberts behind the back dribble. High off the glass on the left side. What a shot as Roberts hesitated for a moment. And still able to get the bucket to fall. And Coach Amico now looking to insert, reinsert Nash Schroeder as he does not want to let this game get out of hand with his lead offensive weapon saddled with foul trouble. As Condi, no good, but Ojengba flies in with the tip in. Jelani Ojengba making things happen for this Pineview team. Myers to Roberts. It's a screen from Lemke. Moore able to cut that off. Roberts gets in to the paint. Puts it up and in. Jordan Roberts. Moore looking for instructions from Coach Amico. To Shepard. Now back to Moore to Shepard. Shepard. Hits Roberts. Roberts tried to draw a charge. No, didn't get it. But the offensive rebound to Condi. He puts it up and in. And right now, Pineview doing the dirty work on the glass. And that is what's keeping them in this game. 
as Roberts now hands to Myers. Gets it over to Roberts, quickly underneath to Lemke, puts it up and in, Roberts to Lemke, and a timeout called by Coach Roberts and the Flyers. That's gonna be a 30 second timeout. And we'll take it as well, back after this, from the pit at Pineview High School and FlyFam TV. Clouds in the sky seem less noticeable than the cloud connected to your phone. Data is quickly becoming the new currency in our society, and all the information you or your business can hold is priceless. So why not store it, secure it, and protect it? That's where we come in. Our job is to assist you in ways that help you to facilitate your business. Tonequin Data Center redefines the meaning of data protection. Located in the disaster safe zone of St. George, Utah, we have created a faster, friendlier, and more secure way to connect to you. Welcome back to the pit as we come out of the timeout. Coming up on two and a half minutes as Tyson Forsey checks in for the flyer. Shepard charges in to Lemke. Lemke able to still swat it, but Moore comes down with it. And the Pineview Panthers. Now with 15 seconds of the shot clock as it did not reset. Schroeder picked up by Robinson. Looking for a screen from Shepard. Schroeder all the way into a 15-foot mid-range shot. Beautifully shot, and he buries it. Roberts. Looking for a screen from Whitehour. Flips it to Lemke, to Forsey, hesitates from three, all the way in, had an opportunity to shoot, but passed it away, and Shepard draws the charge. A veteran play there by Griffin Shepard. That's gonna be Forsey's third personal, third team foul as well for the Flyers. As we are stuck right at two minutes to play here in the third quarter. Flyers with a six point lead. Schroeder. And patiently waiting to execute the play. Gets a screen from Shepard. Forsey knocks it away. And another whistle, and that's going to be Forsey's fourth. And he will have to come out as Myers will check in. That's the fourth team foul for the Flyers as well. Shepard drives, clears to Schmidt as Robinson lost him. Schmidt, no good, rebound, Whitehour skies for it and gives to Roberts. 90 seconds left here in the third quarter. Roberts dancing his way, gets into the paint. Contact, a whistle, and a foul. That's going to go against Moore as Roberts had a step. That's going to be Moore's second personal third team foul against Pineview. So a fresh shot clock as Roberts looks to inbound the ball. Lobs it over the top to Lemke, to Robinson. Pump takes the three, dribbles into the paint. Hooks it to the wide open, wide hour. Misses the layup. Gets his own rebound, blocked, and then brought down by Sh Shepard. What a play there for Pineview. Wide hour just couldn't get the bunny. Schroeder drives in, hangs off the glass. That's good. One minute to play. Here in the third quarter, Whitehour drives the baseline. This one he'll make, and a whistle and a foul. Count it, Logan Whitehour, as he will shoot one for the three-point play opportunity. As Cam Smith will check out with Trevor Condi returning to the floor. As that foul whistled on Griffin Shepard, his first fourth team foul. And Whitehour makes the three-point play. 42-35, under a minute to play here. Uh, Shepard. Hands to Schroeder. Schroeder. Cross court into the corner to Moore. Moore brings it back out as Pineview resets. Now to the high post to Shepard. Shepard drives on Lemke. 
Pump fake, pump fakes. Now across, trying to get it to Schmidt. Almost loses it, does save it. Five seconds on the shot clock, though. Schroeder is going to launch a deep three. No good. Rebound. Lemke, a whistle and a foul. Lemke shoots two, as that will put Pineview in the bonus. That's going to go, I believe, against Caleb Schmidt. And it does. That's his second, fifth team foul. So Kyle Lemke goes to the line, shooting two. And Lemke tickles the twine on the first attempt. And substitution for Pineview as Ojengba replaces Schmidt. Pineview will have 17, just over 17 and a half seconds left to get a shot off going into the fourth quarter as Lemke goes two for two. Now Schroeder calmly walking the ball. 10 seconds to play. It's a screen from Shepard. The switch, drive, step back, tries to pump fake, gets around wide hour, blocked by Lemke as Lemke swats it out of bounds. And that will take us to the end of the fourth quarter here from the pit. With your score, the Dixie Flyers 44, the Pineview Panthers 35. We'll be back after a brief timeout with the fourth quarter play, folks. Don't go anywhere. There's always options to treat your pain. I would recommend to any patient who's dealing with chronic pain to be the squeaky wheel to get the grease. There's always more that we can do. Our whole goal is to get you better without surgery, but uh, sometimes we need to operate as well. Um, and we work closely with surgeons when what we're doing isn't providing the amount of pain relief that the patient is hoping for. Um, but we specialize in minimally invasive procedures, focusing mostly in the spine, but we also do work in other areas of the body. With the knowledge that we can't help everybody, but we want patients to know that we're going to try to do our best to help them. What is rewarding about working in this field is being able to help somebody get their life back. And welcome back to the pit for the fourth quarter of play on FlyFam TV. Ryan Forsey calling the action. Thanks so much for joining us. The Flyers start with possession and a nine-point lead. Robinson to Roberts. Roberts drives into the paint, comes to a jump stop, clears to Whitehour. And the Flyers reset. Robinson back to Myers. 15 seconds on the shot clock as Whitehour drives to Roberts. Roberts gets it to Myers, to Robinson, thinks about the three, drives in, hands to Myers, knocked away, taken away, there's a scrum, and that's going to be a jump ball, and it's going to go to Pineview as the shot clock would have expired anyway. So a defensive stand by Pineview to start the fourth quarter. Some scoring updates, last reported halftime, Crimson 34, Desert Hills 29. And then over at Snow Canyon, the Warriors 32, Cedar 23. Well, the scores coming in a little bit late. We'll keep an eye on those. Schroeder picked up by Lemke on the switch. Hands to Ojengba. Now underneath to Shepard. Turns off the glass over Myers. That's good. Griffin Shepard, an outstanding night on the offensive side. Roberts underneath to Lemke. Hands to the streaking Logan Whitehour for the up and under reverse. Beautiful give and go. Roberts to Lemke to Whitehour. And the lead remains at nine. Ball's knocked away by Myers. Roberts comes down with it. Behind the back pass to Lemke and it's taken away by Pineview. A whistle and a foul. As Roberts may have gotten a little too fancy as one of the Pineview Panthers is able to get a hand on it, deflect it just enough that Pineview steals it. So Caleb Schmidt checking back in for Pineview, replacing Ojengba. Come on, 
to Condi. Underneath to Shepard. Shepard bullies his way in. Tries to get up off the glass. No good. Lemke with the rebound. And he gets it to Roberts. Whitehour holding his position on defense against Shepard. Roberts. Over to Myers. Myers into the paint to Whitehour. Back to Myers. Now to Lemke. Lemke over to Robinson. Back to Myers. Whitehour going to drive. Back to Lemke. Lemke goes up. Whistle foul. Count it. Kyle Lemke from Whitehour. And the big fella trying to take his team home with a win against the rival Pineview Panthers. Misses a free throw, but Whitehour comes down with the rebound. Another offensive opportunity for the Flyers. Whitehour drives on Shepard. Hands to Lemke. Lemke clears back out to Roberts. Roberts gets a screen. Thought about the three. Across court, Robinson thinks about the three, takes it, no good, rebound, knocked out of bounds, last touch by the Flyers. We invite you to stick around for our Sky West post-game show. We'll briefly review this game as best we can. And talk about the Flyers' next home game against the Warriors. It's Condi, air balls the three off the backboard. Roberts fires it down to... Whitehour, and it was high and wide, and Whitehour couldn't chase it down, and another turnover for the Flyers. Now Roberts has two of those successful, so you could say maybe two for three, if we're talking football terms. And Schroeder steps into a three. No good. Rebound, knocked out of bounds, last touch by the Flyers. And as Condi and Roberts both went for it. Schroeder looking to inbound. It lobs over the top to Moore. Now to Condi. Condi back out to Moore as they're trying to get the ball to Shepard posting up on Myers. Hands to Condi. Condi. May have traveled, doesn't, but turns around and puts it up and in, and a timeout called by Pineview. And that's going to be a full timeout called by Coach Amico. We'll take it as well. 4.31 left to play. Pineview 39, Dixie 48. Back after this. With Burke and Baxter Orthodontics. Inside each of us is a desire to be our best self. But sometimes we need a little push. We need that voice telling us to keep going. We need that encouragement and that assurance that we're moving forward and improving. This could not be more true than when it comes to our appearance and our smile. So much of our confidence is based on the way we're perceived by others. With a great smile comes a significant boost in self-esteem and self-worth. At Birkin Beckstrom Orthodontics, our mission is to encourage you and help you take an active role in improving your life. We want to build you up, grow your confidence, and help you move forward. Live your best life, be the best you, Visit our website today, BirkenBeckstromOrtho.com, to see how you can smile forward with Birken Beckstrom Orthodontics. And welcome back to the pit here at Pineview High School for the final four and a half minutes of play. The Flyers holding on to a nine-point lead against the pesky Panthers of Pineview in a Region 9 marquee matchup. Both teams undefeated in the region. Both teams high in the RPI ranking. Both teams with double-digit wins already. And an outstanding crowd here at the pit as a whistle and a foul as the Flyers trying to get the ball to big man Lemke. So that's going to be on Condi, his first personal second team foul. Quickly underneath, Robinson snuck behind the defense. I'm not sure if Pineview wasn't paying attention, or Robinson comes away with the easy layup. Probably the easiest basket of the night for the Flyers. Condi underneath, Shepard. A whistle and a foul. It's going to go against Whitehour. Whitehour thought he had it clean, but that will send Shepard to the free throw line. That's going to be Whitehour's third, second team foul for the Flyers. 
As Shepard misses. And the game he's been having tonight, that's a surprise. As he has played outstanding. And makes the second though. So four minutes to play, 10 point lead. Here we go, Roberts. Clears to Myers, back to Roberts. He's gonna drive in the paint, flips it to Lemke. Lemke pump fakes, spinning, pirouette, right hand hook shot, Kyle Lemke. And the big man saying, come on with me boys, I'll take you home. As Condi steps into a 15 foot jump shot, no good. Quickly to Roberts. Cross court to Whitehour. Now to Myers. And the Flyers wanting to execute, but at the same time, run some clock. Lemke to Whitehour. Robinson was open momentarily, but Whitehour couldn't get it to him. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Roberts drives into the paint, flips to Lemke, 12 foot jump shot. Around the rim and good. Shooter's touch by Kyle Lemke. Under three minutes to play, 14 point lead. Largest lead of the game for the Flyers as Schmidt in the corner three, that's good. Caleb Schmidt. Roberts picked up by Moore. Steps into his three, he wants to match it. No good, but comes in for his own rebound, a whistle, and the ref knocked over, or the ref and Roberts collided, and a delay on the call, and it's gonna be Pineview ball. So no foul, just last touched out of bounds by Roberts. Schroeder. Picked up by Myers. Out to Moore. Schroeder hands to Shepard. Shepard steps into a long two. That's good. Griffin Shepard. And if you're Pineview, it is a Griffin Shepard show as Schroeder hasn't played bad, but he's been hampered by some foul issues, and Shepard has really stepped up. And if you're the Flyers, it's the Kyle Lemke show as Lemke has done damage in and around the paint area. Roberts on the side baseline sideline gets it inbounds as we're under two minutes to play Roberts gets by Moore Lobs over the top to Lemke Lemke up under the glass puts it up and in Lemke from Roberts And right now Pineview has no answer for the 6-9 big man Schroeder hands to Shepard Shepard out to Moore the corner three that's good Adam Moore buries the three and a 30-second timeout called by Pineview. No, they change it. That's going to be a full timeout. Yep, we'll take it as well. Back after this. Minute 32 left to play. Pineview 50-48. Dixie 56. know your front door sees a lot of memories from the first day of school to a holiday celebration your front door is there for everyone enhance your home with a door forged with style built to last crafted with precision and passion our doors are more than just entrances they're works of art our doors make a statement and create a space worthy of your most precious moments find the perfect style for your home at styles iron doors And back here at the pit at Pineview High. 92 seconds left in a Friday night Region 9 contest. Could go down to the wire. We might have a thriller on our hands as Pineview now looking to a full court press trying to get back into this. They trail by eight. Forsey checking in for Myers. Forsey with four fouls. And that's where the ball goes. Whitehour, Forsey's trapped. Quickly, cross court. That ball's almost intercepted, and it is to Schmidt. Turnover by the Flyers, and he's fouled. The full court press executed to perfection by Pineview. As Schroeder will go to the line, shooting two. And if you're the Flyers, that is absolutely what you do not want to happen. 
Pineview able to score points with the clock stopped as Myers will check back in for Forsey. Nash Schroeder, two for two, and a six point lead. Now for the Flyers as Ojengba checking in for Schmidt. And again, a full court press for Pineview. Quickly to Lemke, and it breaks the press as Pineview retreats. Roberts picked up by Moore. Big possession here for the Flyers. To Myers, now to Whitehour. Hands to Roberts. Roberts drives into the paint. No look pass to Lemke. Goes up. Blocked in a whistle. And the Pineview faithful cannot believe it. As Ojengba challenged Lemke. And a whistle is called. So Lemke will go to the line shooting two. And the officials are hearing it from the faithful Pineview fans. Big free throws here for Lemke. And that's short. No good. So Ajingba will check out. Schmidt replacing him. And Lemke shooting the second. And he converts. And a timeout called by the Flyers. That's going to be a full timeout. We'll take the timeout as well. Minute three left to play. 57-50 here from Pineview High on flyfam.tv. Is conveniently located in St. George on the corner of Bluff Street and St. George Boulevard with 30,000 square feet of lawn and garden, paint, tools, fabrics, sporting goods, and the most complete nut and bolt section in town. Her general store, the Big A store on Bluff and on Main and Cedar City. And we're here when it's time for your business to climb higher. Guest Rally Bank, Mountains Away. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Region 10 Sports is brought to you by Nets on Fire, the premier training and event facility in Southern Utah. High-level individual and group training catered to your athlete, plus the best camps, clinics, tournaments, and showcases in the West. Visit netsonfire.org. And back here at the pit, thanks so much for sticking around with us. For Region 9 Basketball, Ryan Forsey. Calling the action, and this is going to come down to the wire. The Flyers nursing a seven-point lead. Under a minute to play. Schroeder steps into a 16-foot jump shot. No good. Lemke high for the rebound. And right now, if you're Pineview, you may have to foul. As Roberts picked up by Moore, gets it across midcourt. As Roberts dances, gets by, a whistle and a foul. And that will be the fifth team foul, so that will put Roberts on the free throw line, shooting two, I believe. Yes, it will, as that is Moore's fourth personal. So Roberts, the nation leader in assists in the high school ranks, putting together another impressive season. The senior guard and captain stepping in the line, shooting two, buries it. If you're the Flyers, you have to just stand pat and play some tough defense and rebound. If you're the Panthers, you've got to pick up the pace and look to score as Roberts buries the second. Nine-point lead. Here comes Schroeder. No doubt looking to score quick. Gets a screen from Shepard. Over to Moore. Moore. Hands to Schmidt. Schmidt gets into the paint. Lobs them underneath to Condi. It's knocked away. Take it away. Outstanding play. I believe Brecken Robinson may have knocked that away, and Roberts comes with it. 24 seconds left. And the Flyers right now, all they have to do is hold on to the ball and play keep away. Pineview not knowing what to do. Late to foul and a whistle, and that's going to put Brecken Robinson to the free throw line. He makes them both. That will all but do it for the Flyers. As they have come into a hostile Panther pit and weathered a bad start to come away with an impressive victory and go 3-0 on the region season. Robinson. That's good. So he'll shoot the second. Just under 15 seconds left to play again. We'll take a 
couple minute timeout after the conclusion of the game and come back with a brief Sky West postgame show as Schroeder brings it across midcourt. Hesitates, steps into a three, no good. Rebound chased down by Myers, and that's going to do it. Roberts will trot across half court, and the Flyer faithful who made the trip to Pineview stand and applaud as the Dixie Flyers hang on to the win, 61-50 to in an entertaining contest from Pineview High. As I said, we'll take a brief break here on flyfam.tv and be back with our Sky West postgame show. Don't go anywhere, folks. Back after this. And welcome back to Pineview High School and the SkyWest Airlines post-game show. SkyWest Airlines, there are blue skies ahead. We appreciate you sticking around for us. And what was an entertaining game here from the pit and a raucous crowd. And again, this Pineview team been playing well. But tonight, the Flyers able to come in and weather a bad start and hold on for an outstanding victory against a very tough Pineview team. Thanks so much again for joining us. I'm Ryan Forsey. Appreciate watching our live stream tonight. I apologize. Don't really have any stats tonight, so we're just going to wing it a little bit, and that's okay. But let's take a moment and look at the keys to the game. And again, we talked about limiting number 13, Nash Schroeder, and the Flyers uh, did slow him down some. They also had some help as Schroeder kind of fought with some foul trouble early in the game, but Griffin Shepard picked up more than his fair share and had an outstanding game. I wish I had some statistics to tell you how many points he had, but he played outstanding as Schroeder had to sit the bench for spurts. Perimeter defense. Again, outside of Shepard, the Flyers did a fairly effective job at limiting threes. Uh, Schmidt hit a couple, Moore hit one late in the game, but really that was it. The damage was done by Griffin Shepard and Nash Schroeder, and then pounding the post, and that no doubt was the key, especially coming down the stretch as Kyle Lemke put the team in his backpack, so to speak, and finished strong with a series of post moves and free throws, and really Pineview just did not have an answer for the 6'9 big man. So again, let's go ahead and take a look at the upcoming 
broadcast schedule for the Flyers. So next Wednesday, the Snow Canyon Warriors will visit the Hangar in another marquee matchup. And then Friday, the Desert Hills Thunder. So two home games next week for Dixie. And then the following Wednesday, they'll travel up to Cedar. And again, that we will not be responsible for streaming that. We'll try to get a link from Cedar High and get that out for the Flyer faithful. And then returning Friday for the second half of Region 9 play as the Flyers kick off that leg against the visiting Crimson Cliffs Mustangs. So really quickly, a couple scoring updates. Into the fourth quarter, Snow Canyon leading 48-42 to over the Reds of Cedar. Cedar playing it. A game there, and right now, let's see here, with about just coming up at the start of the fourth quarter, it appears that Crimson Cliffs and Desert Hills are all tied 44. Oh, no, correction. Desert Hills 46, Crimson 45, and that's right at the start of the fourth quarter. You can catch that on the Fan Sports Network. So, again, that is our SkyWest Airlines postgame show. Now let's take a moment and name our FlyerFlash.com player of the game. And that's going to go to none other than the 6'9 big man, Kyle Lemke. As he put the team on his shoulders for much of that fourth quarter and led them home. You know, I don't have statistics, but well into the 20-point range for Kyle Lemke. Roberts in with a solid night. No doubt piling up a good number of assists and points. Brecken Robinson, Logan Whitehour also contributing to the cause for the Dixie Flyers. So again, our DixieFlyerFash.com player of the game, Kyle Lemke. So congrats to Kyle, the big man, having an outstanding night. So that's going to do it for us here from the pit. Again, thanks so much for joining us for our live stream presentation of Dixie High Boys Basketball. We'll be back again on Wednesday. Probably start that right around 6.50, 6.55 for our live stream as the Snow Canyon Warriors take a trip over to the hangar. Folks, have a fantastic weekend. Enjoy the extra day as we honor and celebrate Martin Luther King Day. That's going to do it from the Pine View High School Pit. I'm Ryan Forsey. Good night, everybody.